Cats, How to Choose and Care for a Cat by Laura S. Jeffrey. Great Pets. Cats are great pets. They are beautiful, smart, and playful. They are fun to watch as they bounce on toys, swat at balls, and stretch after a long nap. Cats enjoy people as well as other cats, but they also like to be by themselves. They are happy to be their own. Cats are easy to, to care for, and they are easy to, to love. For all these reasons, cats are popular pets. Millions of Americans have at least one cat in their home. This book will help you choose the right cat for you. It will tell you what to feed your new pet and how to make it feel comfortable and safe. You will learn how to keep your cat healthy and happy. History of Cats Long, long ago, cats were wild animals, but cats have been household pets for about 4,000 years. The ancient Egyptians were the first to make cats household pets. They used cats to protect food supplies from rats and other pests. The ancient Egyptians thought of cats as gods and goddesses. They, they had laws against killing cats. People who killed cats could be put to death. By the 1700s, people all over the world had cats as pets. Cats came to America with the pilgrims. Cats were used on the Mayflower and other ships to hunt rats. Cats became more than just workers for people, they became friends. Today, there are millions of cats in the world. There are about 35 different breeds. Cats can also be mixtures of different breeds. Some cats are solid color. Others have color patterns such as stripes, spots, or patches. Cats may have short hair or long hair, smooth coats or even curly coats. Some cats have a long, fluffy tail while others have a short, stubby tail. Some cats have ears that fold down while others have ears that stand up. Fast fact. Today, there are many cultures that believe cats bring good fortune. For purebred cats, the American short hair is a popular cat breed. This breed is known for its beauty and, gen and gentle nature. American short hairs get along well with children and dogs. They come in about 80 different colors and patterns. The most common American short hair is silver with black markings. Samai's cats come from Thailand, which is which was once called Sam. Samai's cats have short, light-colored coats. They have dark, they have darker blue, brown, lilac, linux, or red markings on their legs, tails, ears, and face. Samai's cats like to sit in their own owner's lap. Some people think that purring with Samai's cat sounds like singing. Cats can live for an average of 10 to 15 years. With proper care, they will give their owners love and friendship for many years. The right cat for you. What kind of cat is best for you? First, you should decide if you want a cat or a kitten. Kittens are adorable. A kitten is a friend and playmate, not a toy. If you have a younger brother or sister, you probably should get a cat instead, instead of a kitten. Kittens can be playful and silly too. Another decision is what breed of cat to get. Some cat breeds are better for children and families. You can learn about the different breeds of cats through the internet or library books. If the adults in your house agree, you may want to adopt two cats instead of just one. Most cats enjoy company. They also like to have fun late at, n late at night. Having two cats means they will always be a playmate for the other one. Where will you get your new pet? Your first stop should shelter. There you will find many healthy, adorable, and loving cats and kittens in need of a home. Most of the cats and kittens in the shelter will, will probably be mixed breeds. Pet pointer. Cats should never go outside by themselves. They can get hurt by cars, dogs, bad people, or wild animals. Workers at the shelter have gotten to know these animals. They will help match you with the right pet for your family. Also, adopting a pet is the best way to help animals. If you want a certain type of cat that is not currently available at the shelter, ask shelter workers about a breed placement group. This is a group of, con of concerned people who take in unwanted cats and find homes for them. You can also buy a cat or kitten from a breeder. However, breeders may charge a lot of money. The American Humane Association says people should not get a cat from a pet store. Pet stores are not concerned about matching people with a pet that will fit well with their lifestyle.
taking care of your cat. You probably cannot wait to spend time holding and playing with your new cat, but you need to give it plenty of time to get to know its new home. You also need to give it time to get to know you. When you first bring your cat home, keep it in one room. The cat will feel more secure if it learns its way around one room at a time. Let the cat slowly explore its new home. Slowly and quietly let it meet other family members and household pets. In time, cats adapt happily to any house or apartment. They never need to go outside where cars, diseases, other cats, dogs, and bad people can harm them. Eating. Always have a bowl of fresh, cold, cool, drying water for your cat. Do not give your cat milk because it may cause diarrhea. Feed your cat a high quality brand, f brand name food made for cats. The three main types are dry, soft, moist, and canned. Always feed your cat in the same place at the same time. Do not touch or bother your cat while it's eating. Do not feed your cat human food because it may not have the right kinds of nutrients your pet needs. Also, cats should never be fed bones or raw fish. Kittens should stay with their mothers until they are at least eight weeks old so they can drink their mother's milk. If you adopt a kitten younger than this, ask a veterinarian how to feed it. Sleeping. Cats take plenty of long naps. They like to sleep in a padded, shallow box or basket. They may also end up choosing their own resting place, such as your bed or a sunny win windowsill. Cats may sleep as much as 18 hours a day using the litter box. The best toilet for your cat is a plastic litter can. Cover the bottom all of the pan with about two inches of litter, but put the pan someplace where your cat will not be bothered or annoyed by any other pets or household activity. Make sure the pan is far away from, from the cat's food or, or water bowls. Your cat will naturally want to use the pan, so you should not have to worry about training it. Just make sure your cat knows where the pan is. In a two-story house, you might need one pan upstairs and another one downstairs. A very young kitten may need a few litter pans at first. Keep the litter pan clean. Otherwise, you, your cat may decide to use the corner of, the, of a room instead. Scoop out the waste at, like, at least once a day. Change the litter box and wash the box with a mild soap every few weeks or, or as often as needed. Indifi indification. Buy your cat a collar that has an elastic insert. If your cat gets caught on something, the elastic in the collar will expand so the cat can free itself without getting hurt. On, on the collar, place the identification ID tag with your family's name, address, and phone number on, e on it. Even a house cat might slip through an open door or window and become lost. An identification tag lets neighbors or animal shelters or animal shelter workers return your pet to you. Also, ask the adults you live with to find out if you need a city or county license for your cat. A microchip is a very small counterchip. More and more people are having pets. Vets put microchips, I, microchip IDs into their cats. This is a safe and effective way to have a permit ID for your a permanent ID for your cat. However, some people who find cats do not know what they may have a microchip. So it is a good idea to have an identification tag on your pet's collar at all times. That way, you are helping your pet find its way home if it ever becomes lost. In case your pet gets outside accidentally and becomes lost, or in case of an emergency such as a fire or flood, have information about your pet ready to share. This includes a recent photo, vacation records, vet inf information, and names and phone numbers to contact. Grooming. You will not need to bathe your pet because cats clean themselves with their very rough tongue. But some cats do enjoy baths. If, if you... Give your cat a bath, mild soap. Do not use a shampoo used for dogs because it could harm your cat. Let your cat dry off in a warm place. Pet pointer. Be sure your cat is always wearing a, a tagger collar and, ta and collar with its name and your family's address on it. The best way is to have your cat microchip to make sure it is returned home safely if it becomes lost. Even though you will not have to 
bathe your cat often, you should regularly brush its coat. Brushing helps prevent hairballs. When cats lick their coats to clean themselves, they swallow pieces of hair. The hair forms a ball in their cat's stomach. Fast fact, milk can upset your cat's stomach. Sometimes cats throw up hairballs. Regular combing can help prevent hairballs from forming. Long hair cats should be combed daily with a steel comb. A brush works well on short hair cats. Praising. Most cats love attention. Make sure you talk to your pet. Praise or say good things to your cat when it is good. And include it in your day-to-day -day activities when possible. Remember that your gentle words and behavior will make your cat even more loving.